All right, here's the short version of this video set. Uh, this is just gonna show you how to use the converter. I'm not gonna explain anything else other than that. So, like all my releases, uh, just put the folder from the download into your the roots of your C drive. It has to go in your C drive. It won't work if it's not in your C drive, and at the root. All right, so double click that, open that up, click on the to be uh, voted folder. Actually, before you do that, you gotta extract some maps first. So I'm gonna be using my Dreadnor inst installation. This is mainly for Dreadnor. Uh, you can use other versions if you if you, if you want, up to, up, to, up to you. But I uh, go to maps and I'm just gonna do the Tanan jungle real quick if I can find it. Is there another one here? All right, cool. Uh, right click, extract, extract it somewhere. I'm gonna put it, uh, in my 002 folder, um, make a new folder, call it uh, Tan Jungle, whatever. All right, hit OK. And while I'm here, I'll also grab the tile sets so I can have that at least. So uh, let's see, tile sets, tile sets there. Right click tile sets there. Um, yeah, let's put it in the same folder, why not? It's not a big deal. Copy this, go there. Oops. All right, and then um, inside of here will be the ADT files. So first thing I do is modify the WDT file and make this a 4E for this flag. I've left that, and you're down, and close that out. All right, and then uh, let that finish. But uh, grab all the ADT files. So all of these, well, all of these files go and put into the to be voted folder. All right, once you're done with that. Um, let's see, there are two WDT files in here that have no use to me. Something with this text, I have no use for that. Um, that's it, that's it for that. Okay, and uh, I want to just uh, just to make things easier, I'm going to rename this as test because that's the I, that's the map ID I'm going to be using for this. Uh, well, this test uh, is, is map ID 13. All right, so before I get to that, I want to uh, to rename all of these, so rename these. To test so that I so I don't have to uh, rename them later. All right, so there's that. Now, um, for this particular example, I'm not going to be doing WMOs or M2s, so I'm going to basically be using the version of the converter that that skips those, which is this. Uh, all right, I forgot where I was at. I heard a noise. I'm gonna go check it out. And shit. Uh, anyway, um, I think I had said that since I'm not doing WMOs or anything like that within the short version. Uh, to avoid getting an error, I'm going to be basically doing terrain only, which is basically this one here that says it just converts the terrain. So if I run this, it'll go through, and uh, as you can see in here, it'll start to pop out an uh, ADT file for those things. And what this basically does is of, of it it it, uh, it makes use of uh, of this uh, this OBJ blank that I made, and it's uh, basically. Um, it, it's basically an OBJ file that has no data in it that I deleted all the stuff that that led to basically having objects and so I, I use these as a uh, as like a, a debugging to, to try to figure out if it's the if it's uh, my object layer that's causing the uh, like if the if the game crashes um, is uh, is it my object layer that's causing the crash or or uh, if it is, then is it possibly one of the WMOs or the M2s maybe converted improperly or something? And uh, if that's the case, then go through and, de and debug that and look into it and so on and so forth. And so that's mainly why I have this uh, this here, all right? And um, yeah, so right and uh, right now it doesn't have the uh, it it doesn't use uh, make make use of the blank texture. But if you want to use that and and not uh, convert over the uh, the uh, uh, ground tile set texture data, uh, you can modify this script. All right, and uh, where it says this for for uh, for file open to, all right, you you can just copy this here, right? You can just copy this here and paste this in, and then just uh, punch in that name that 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 uh this one here, and just paste that into here, and this will be big become the blank texture and then you'll skip it that way as well all right and uh yeah 
Also, one more thing is when that is going on, when the conversion process is going on, do not do anything on your computer because it uses your Windows clipboard for copying and pasting, and that's what it's doing. It's copying stuff from very, from from the other five files or four or three files rather, and pasting it into a new temp file. All right? If you start copying stuff, if you're like on the on the internet and you start typing and browsing and copying and pasting stuff. It's going to paste whatever you copy. If you copy like a YouTube link, it's going to paste that YouTube link into your data file and therefore your files are going to work. All right. So heed my warning. If you uh, want, if you don't want to waste a whole bunch of time and you want this to work, don't do that. All right. So anyway, so uh, within the finished folder will be all the stuff after it's done and gets moved into here. Okay. And then here I want to, uh, okay, I forgot, I forgot to start up the repack. Start here, start here, start here. Okay, close that, close that, whatever, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, what you want to do is go and make your patch. So, data folder, make a patch called uh, patch x, oops, x.mpq. All right, drag and drop this stuff into here. Let that go through. Get all of these ADTs, put them into the map folder. Put them into here, rename the main folder as test so I can just go to it. Second thing you want to do is uh, you need Excel open for this. If you don't, there are there are uh, on uh, there are web versions of Excel that you can use that are available through the browser if you just Google it. And uh, you can open up these uh, these Excel worksheets within those. Alright, so I'm gonna open this one up eventually. Alright, and then um so I need to get my port cords, right? So look for something that's kind of large, like this one here, 3425, punch in 3425 here, 25, all right. And then uh, this is gonna be my go X, Y, Z, and then plus the map ID that to put in. So if I log into the game, all right, and if I uh, just punch that in, put in 13, you'll see that I come in and it works, terrain's there. Uh, tile sets I pulled, so that so so that's all set up, and uh, but there's no objects or anything like that because I skipped that for this particular demonstration. Otherwise, it would have given me an error because I'm not doing W modes in this particular demonstration. All right, so yeah, that must be 50. All right, so stuff. Okay, so there you go. This is the Tanan Jungle instance map, etc., etc., etc. All right, and yep, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's it. Thanks for checking this out. See you guys later. Bye bye. Enjoy using the tool and all that good stuff. All right, bye bye. And if anybody wants to know how to use the other stuff that's included within the download, uh, check out the full video, which is just basically a live. It's pretty much me recording as a as if it's a live stream. So that's pretty much what it is. So it's just me talking my head off and explain stuff. All right, bye-bye, later. Anyway, I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it here as well, is that um, the color of this water is supposed to be like greenish, and the reason why it's not that is because this is usually made green by the light uh, DVC files. Like, if you guys didn't know anything about light DVCs, usually you can change the color of water by, uh, by a certain setting within your your uh, light settings. Now that said, I have no idea how to convert the values from uh, from basically Mr. Pandora and, and newer li uh, light data. All right, so that's why I can't get that. So that's why that's just blue water instead of like bright green slime or some shit because the actual texture on here, the, the actual thing on here is water. It's just that within the game, it appears green because of, of the light fields and stuff. All right, so just get that out of the way to clear that up. All right, later. While editing, I just realized I forgot something, which is basically how to make this stuff load load up in Nugget. It's just basically putting it in, or putting the stuff into an actual MPQ file instead of a folder patch. So a new MPQ at this particular location, and then I just uh, call it uh, patch patch X or whatever. Oops, I already have a patch X, don't I? So let me, let me make a patch Z. And uh, just save next uh, that 
655 to be 6, 36, okay. And then uh, next, finish, uh, go into that patch. All right, and then drag and drop these files into this patch. All right, let that finish through. And once it's done, open up Nugget, should be good. And then it's in the test test folder, so it'll show up as testing because on the map, you can see that's what the uh, name of the map is. So if I open this up, and if I click on a uh, continent, and I see around here, just say testing right there, and then uh, so on and so forth. And yeah, and I think I already started editing this, but uh, let's see. Is this one I started editing? Oh, one of them I started adding a bunch of holes to, just for the hell of it, was bored. Yeah, see, I started adding a bunch of holes to it. And uh, yeah, all right. But I can also just close this out, and I should be able to delete my patch in, which is the one that has my saved data on it. And I should be able to go back in, and there's no more edits, as you can see from that. If I go back in, wait for it to load, and then uh, and then once so it's already loaded, so I just gotta move up, and so on and so forth. So there you go. So that's it. So it's working nugget, and so on and so forth. Yada yada yada. And you can deform, as you can see in the previous example, I had holes at it all over the place because I was bored and had nothing else to do. But uh, I can make this really high if I wanted to. Something like that. All right. So it's like a path unwalkable. <laughs> this is how you do it. But uh, yeah. All right. That's pretty much that. Thanks for checking this out. See you guys later.